So we're going to try to find uh, the solutions to 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0. And we're going to use what's called the quadratic formula. And in order to use the quadratic formula, it needs to be in the order um, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And this formula only works if your highest degree is 2. So if this was the third power, fourth power, you could not do it. If it was only to the first, you could also not do it. Now first, let's go look at it visually. If I have 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, what does that look like? Notice, the question is, when does this red parabola cross the x-axis? In the real numbering system, it doesn't. But it does in the complex number system. It has two complex solutions, two imaginary solutions. So I know my answer is going to have i's in it. So I set this up and I first recognize that 2 is a, b is negative 3. And so the first thing I'm going to do is recognize that this is a. So everywhere I see an A, and it's better to use lowercase, so I'm going to change this to lowercase. So everywhere I see an A in the formula, I'm going to put a 2. B is negative 3, because B is always the number in front of X. So everywhere I see a B, I'm going to put negative 3. And then C is 5. Everywhere I see a C, which is one place, I'm going to put a 5. So I'm going to fill in the formula with these numbers. So this part's going to stay the same. You're going to have negative something, plus or minus, something squared. The formula always has a minus 4 in it. Times something, times something, all in the radical, divided by 2 times something. And so first, let's go in and fill in the 2. So A is here and here. So I'm going to put a 2 here and here. That's where the A goes. B is negative 3. So I'm going to put a negative 3 here and a negative 3 there. And then C, C goes right there. C would be 5. All right, now for this part, we know that negative, negative 3, um, all that does is change the sign. So whatever B is, change the sign. That's what that means. So negative, negative 3 becomes a positive 3. This is plus and negative. So you're going to add it first and then subtract. We'll do that later. And then this part, I would just do all that either in your head or just type it in a calculator. Negative 3 squared is 9. 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40. 9 minus 40 is negative 31. Or you could type that in your calculator. negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5 and notice I get negative 31 in case you're not good with computations and then of course 2 times 2 is 4 Now from there, we're going to simplify square root of negative 31. I'll do it over here. 31 is what we call a prime number. But the negative, square root of negative 1, that makes i. And 31, because it's prime, the only thing that goes into 31 is 1 and 31. This is going to stay square root of 31. 
So all that happened was the negative came out to make an i because the square root of negative 1, by definition, is i. So I can now replace this and say, okay, this is 3 plus or minus i square root of 31 over 4. Now there's usually another step. Usually what you would do now is you would look at this number, the 3, and this is a 1 and a 4. And if you could find a number that goes into 3, 1, and 4, you would divide them all by that number to simplify one more step. But 3, 1, and 4, there's no number besides 1 that goes into 3 and 1 and 4. So this is technically simplified. Now this notation means you have two solutions. One is 3 plus i squared of 31 over 4. And the other solution is 3 minus i square root of 31 over 4. So this would be my final solution. x equals x equals those are my solutions. And that would be my final answer. And I really should have put x equals here.